I think the other thing too is now with these two heroes, they can play around each other. And I think you don't you don't want to doom Weeha most likely. No, they're trying to bait a fight here. Kavos is prepping his ult in case they go. They are going to get the avalanche. Now the follow up. Doom comes down onto the tiny. They're able to steal it, but now it's scorched earth. Yeah. Able to walk away. Very well played by three three. But the chase down, they actually might be able to find this kill onto Weeha in spite of the runaway. They can't find the deny. 3-3 is trapped in by the creeps, but he's going to chase forward for more. They find the jump onto Tavo. CC and C with the Hadouken. 3-3 takes him down. And on the other side of the map, PPD takes down HFN. Everybody's dying on Pain Gaming. Optic are running a train. Yeah, they have spotted the weakness in this lineup for sure. They just paper lanes on Look the side. Look at 3 yeah. He doesn't care about anything. We've got Seder Ore, some Scorched Earth. Burn, baby, burn. Zai takes the kill. There's still a tier 1 tower here, by the way, guys. <laughs> so but they... there's not a tier 2 top. You just get away. We've seen a lot of this where teams will smoke towards the runes and oh, CCC. It's coming down. Uh, okay. Jumping in for it. Finds Weeha. Pycat's there as well. The swap, the stun, great play, and the Winter's Curse, but Weeha is dead. And if they try and take this fight now, they're all overgrowth. This is going terribly for Pain Gaming. Trying to run out of here. They have Duster killed off. And now trying to chase Tavo as well. They've got the bugs on him. Shield crash. He does have another jump away in a second, but the roots. Keep on going even as one of them dies. And that means a lane of Rax Newbie may just be done. They don't I think have Pyvax. They don't have Pyvax on two of their heroes. Secret what? in one fell swoop. Newbie's gone. They're going to jump forward, be able to grab face, slow him down. Raid Fire Blast as well. Oh, he's, he's swapped swap in Moogie. Moogie. Don't swap in Moogie. Eat the cheese, Moogie. That's it. It's good game. Okay, I newbie. really feel like Newbie should have just taken that chance for that top lane. Oh my god. Because it's much better than having lost like this. Yes. Secret. Fool me once. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> fool me twice. Also shame on you, but fool me three times. Fool me three times. I can't say the rest of those lyrics. <laughs> but that is going to do it for the tiebreaker. Immediately there on to the Rubik in trouble going to be healed up, but is it enough? No, they swap back in the Wyvern now They get the Winter's Curse on the Storm Spirit and High Cat is going to be starting to beat into him, but not quite enough They're doing a ton of damage to this tower and a clinical game so far from Optic Looking like it's going to be a tier 3 tower taken down as they jump forward for more. There's going to be the Avatos. They burn through the Aegis. Okay, not bad, but 3-3 chasing forward. Tavo trying to create havoc in this fight. The BKB is out from Pycat, though. 3-3 lifted up in the air. He eventually is going to fall. They're starting to take these heroes down, but Weeha 2 is dead. He's going to need to buy back. Jumps back in. Nobody is able to control CCNC on his second life as HFN. And there's the overgrowth. As they try and reinitiate Avalanche Toss, they pull it back in in the Sunder. Oh, the oh, time lapse. God, the time lapse. And Pycat finally going to be punished. Oh, that defense is going to work out here. Knocking the cheese off really hurt. No doom yeah. either from 3 3. Airblade also has the Lincolns, and the question is, have they noticed it yet, too? I think 3 3 just pinged him. Yeah, they have the illusions out there, too, which should see him. But wait a minute. Again, Storm Spirit in trouble. He is backpacking his Diffusal Blade to try and reduce the amount of mana that's being drained. They pop the cheese as well. Zai is going to die. And meanwhile, the turnaround, they find themselves the kill on the Duster and Zai. CCNC jumps back in. Can he get the sub drop? He gets it off 3 3. The Doom comes too late. But he is still going to be able to find the kill. And the Doom was stolen. They turn it on to CCNC. HFN takes down two before he gets the kill. The buyback afterwards from the Terra Blade. And the roar comes from Pain Gaming as they hold again. Pycat will just have to limp away here. They have still just taken a tier three. No racks yet. It does open up the shrines. Gem back, so it's okay. <laughs> Traded gems. Who's yeah. this one? It's back and forth over and over. So That's King RD's gem. Yeah. Oh, they smoked. It was near a ward. It's hard to tell. Oh, look at that. He's going back and forth and the pings come out. HFN says yeah. his illusion ran into somebody. That's a nice little play. That's a, a Weehawk classic, I believe. Teach Maybe them. Rezo, too. All the cool kids. Yeah, of course. Everybody does it. I think HFN just drew a line like this. So if Weehawk... And we 
we still need a little bit more mana here on this Doom. He's got the Soul Ring. All right, he's ready. There's the BKB. They chase forward. They take down the Wyvern. They're going to take down the Pango. And now also looking for King RD. Tries to stop, but that's a BKB. CCNC out of mana. Can they turn onto him and take him down? All the right clicks with Weehaw buying back. They take down CCNC yet again. PPD ran after by the big old Tiny. And now also 3-3. Good bleak up to the high ground. They can't quite get there in time. He doesn't have his TP out of his backpack. They're looking for the other side, and now they see him as 3-3 three, three, going to be lifted and rolled upon. And they find yet another hole. These buybacks are very costly, but uh, as you said, they held. No racks lost. Still just that bottom tier three. And they're gonna find a DD rune here as well. Man, HFN. That was insane. Yeah, that man, uh, that was close. That thing was swinging down the hammer of the doom, and he was like, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> I mean, when you disagree with somebody 20 times, you have to be at, right, at least once. Lincoln's I'll give that Manta. to you. Yeah. yeah, I'll give that to you, Kyle. Lincoln's exactly. Manta. You're going to be right once. That seems pretty no damage. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like when you are, if you're blindfolded and you're throwing a dart at a target, it's going to hit sometimes. Yes, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, I spin in a circle. I don't think mathematically that's true. You could just never hit it. Eventually. No, I don't Haven't think eventually you, you would ever. If you put uh, an infinite number yeah. of top, top monkeys and gave yeah. them an infinite number of typewriters, and eventually barrels. one would write you a Shakespearean novel. Yeah. I like, don't think that's true either. I think it that's is just true. A bad thing. No, it is not true. If you, you had an infinite st number, it doesn't matter. Statistically, infinitely, they could all just do the same thing as well, and then it wouldn't be the elite. But there's an infinite number. Yes, and infinitely, so they all could, possibilities. Uh, top occur. lane, they're going on the Weaver. Yeah, they have yeah. him dusted up. He's dead. Yeah, Gets he the torrent follow up, but meanwhile, they did lose a tier two bottom. Yep. And TA chased around by Zai here as Zai was able to sneak through just around nighttime there. So open up the experience. King RD going to walk up to the high ground. Zai trying to hide through the trees. Oh, do you see him? Not oh, quite. He just saw him. Oh, they no, he walked around the tree, the juke. He had the vision. And now they're moving in. He's got the spike carapace here. Oh, no, but the, oh, they wore off. Still looking for the chase. They pick up their tree, trying to find this kill. Avatos, magic missile coming in as well. Can they kill off Weeha? This would be so huge for them if Optic could get it, but it's not quite happening. And just death all over the map. High Cat managed to die. Weeha is going to live through it. And they're bringing in everybody. Oh, they have gone just a bit too deep here. Three-man Ravage will keep them back. But, uh, yeah, losing Pycat and then... Yeah, and now with the Radiance, all you need to do is pop that Spike Carapace, and it's going to hit no matter what onto the stun. Waiting on the high ground, hoping that somebody is going to initiate on the Tavo, but everybody from Optic is down bottom. Yeah, and looks like 3-3 is reading this, too. He's here with the silence, but he doesn't want to reveal himself. Brown Boots, Orchid, and an old tally. They show up with Zai. Find the silence onto one, but they come in. Two-person stun by Tavo. Can they find the extra bit of damage? 3-3 three, three is dead. Didn't even get his ultimate off. They managed to take down Zai afterwards, and now Pain Gaming streaming forward and able to take down PPD as well. Yeah, and CCC is just hitting the tower, so... Nice grab there. Triple kill on the top. Get the tower. CCC will trade for bottom, but these are the sort of kills that Pain need. And I love the way Tombo itemized this game going for the Blink Dagger first because uh, the control from the Bane is just going to be always focused on him. He's going to be trying relatively quickly if they happen to win a fight just because of all the minus armor that's naturally a part of their heroes. They do yeah. spot out CCNC. Jump forward onto Tavo. He's going to be able to get the swashbuckle away. PPD has the Fiend's grip onto one. It's the Winter Wyvern. Not really that much follow-up yet, but they're bringing in the big guns. CCNC finds that kill, and can they find any more? No more big team fight ultimates. Weeha, bold as brats. Just going to walk forward, wants to collect his bounty room. King RD takes it instead, but all the damage in the world comes out from CCNC when he shows up. Weeha, can he get his ultimate off? Still a long ways away, and they're slowed down there by the Heart Piercer Aura. Trying to run away from them, but they managed to find the triple kill from CCNC. Oh, holding that high ground strong from the side of Optic. And the way PPD starts that fight, he gets the sleep. I don't know, I see people saying this sometimes. It doesn't matter who on your team. If you're Alchemist, your teammates can get the bounty runes and you get the bonus. Oh. Isn't that great? You don't have to do it yourself. That's great. Let your friends do it. You'll love to see it. 
Oh, there is a kick and a kill and a CCNC stun, but he has that sass resistance. He's just going to back out. They shrine away from their alchemist, who's getting ran at yet again. The swap out. They want to keep him alive. The Winter's Curse doing pretty good things to try and turn this back around. 3-3. Pops his BKB, but he is still going to die. And we are living through all of this. He's going to stun himself. Oh, no. He throws it back on a CCNC. Manta dodge trying to run away. PPD wants to get the one kill. Can he do it? No. They take down four. Pain, signs of life, ever so slight. Okay, well, there weren't any buyback. Also, moving forward, is this really the fight that you want to take, Pain? Oh, they got to run. They're trying to chase CC and C. They've got themselves Tavo. There's going to be the Avo, but they swap him back out, keeping him alive. But there's going to be the Maelstrom proc. It connects. They find the kill. They buy back on Tavo. He wants to get into this fight as they take down Bane and Pycat, chasing forward for Weehaw. Weehaw is able to escape for the moment, and Pycat getting brought down low. After that Aegis was gone, he is vulnerable, and he does die. And now CC and C finding another. Can they kill off HFN? He's stunned. He's caught there by the Sprout as well. The right Clicks coming through is eventually going to fall, and now they've got Tavo. This would be a dieback for him. Already, there's no Weaver for 110 seconds, and that's another kill on the Pango. Yeah, Weeha just hiding off to the side here. Will Peter find him? Oh, he's going to find one more with the ward up on the high ground. King RD found now by his opponent captain, and Weeha still just lurking the side, pops up the illusions, and will just try and make his way back home. And it does look like he's going to complete his CP, but they have lost absolutely everybody else. On Possibly head down towards the bottom and another smoke play. Oh, just to run at him. Okay. Is there vision? There is some vision here that was laid down by the Radiant. They spot CCNC again. Continuing to initiate on this tiny and the Moonlight Shadow, he stuns himself. This is not good. They swap back away and now turn onto his teammates as Excess was mid animation there. Tavo getting a couple of stuns as well. Can they chase down this Nick Excess? And HFN decides instead, let's go over for PPD and see if we can take down 3 3. Dealing some decent damage. Toss the avalanche. Weeha gets the Manta out, is immediately going to be killed off. And even though he's in the BKB, he's not going to be brought down as CCNC They're fighting trying very to well take here. down King RD. He's getting a lot of minus armor. He's down to very low. And can they kill him off? Yes, indeed. Weeha with the double kill. They didn't lose anybody. All under a Radiant Observer Sentry combo. That did a ton of work for them in that fight. Able to see so much of what's going on and the focus they've had taking the. You cannot talk about the U.S. when you're in Canada. It's by law. Is it? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's, put, let's put a wall on that conversation. Put up the burn through the Aegis to Mall of Necro, as well as the life of Kuro. And they need to go again into Necrofoss. He cannot survive this. Or can he? With the scythe, he'll get a revenge on Decider and the dead body! He throws it forward to get the kill onto Necrofoss. But this magnetize is just so damn good from GA. BKB to dodge that magic missile. Friends are coming in. Fades in the neighborhood. He doesn't have the curse available. And Yang, Avalanche Toss needs to create a lot of space. Avalanche does. So Sala can walk off and Wyvern has to take it for the team. But Sala is still on the run. And GH is in front of him. Rolling boulders forward. Puts the urn on this. No jumping away from this. DDC is hunted down by Miracle. And VGJ Thunder doesn't even require the full force of Team Liquid to find these kills. They just pair off and hunt in small packs. How many drinks come with both an umbrella and an olive? It's like the opposite way, like olive is culture. Like umbrella is like, like. Riki. <laughs> Since lost it. That is so good. Oh, that is so perfect. So, like Miracle can pick anything this game. Coral, <laughs> give me Riki. <laughs> Give me Ricky. Oh my God, that's so funny. Actually, my <laughs> God, it's that's it. You know, that's where they're like, yeah, we're, can, we're, can, we can pick anything. Can Ricky on board with the bat rider when he jumps oh, into? Hey, we actually oh. got the juggernaut. It's there for VJ Thunder. Position for Pugna. Um. But I think one of the things PSJ is talking about with Monkey King, which is definitely a good point, is that this hero falls off a lot harder than many other heroes do. You can be doing really well in the start, you can get kills, you can get farm, but when it comes to team fights later on, one or two bad moves where you die, the drop off of this hero seems a lot more severe than us. What the hell is that, Courier? I know, right? Um, He's just such a such a happy kind of guy, but that's not even the Courier, that's the Monkey King. They ping him out. Like, last time I saw Monkey King play, he went in sniping couriers. What is this court? 
And then is that a, like a mini Furion? I I honestly don't know. Like it's like, it's, like he's he's the uh, keeper of the inn where all the uh, all the tri they're chasing mind yeah. control. The fissure is out. You got a level two spin, and this should be enough damage to kill off mind control. He can't take to the sky. He's got three stick charges, but Sila just needs uh, two more swings uh, with the crit. Oh uh, no! No! Stop this no! 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 Sila, not like this! All like this! All like this! He's still regenerating oh, the attack with the sticky napalm. Sila's gonna God. go down to mind control. He stopped his attack, Toby. He stopped it. He thought he actually animation cancelled. He can follow through with that attack even if Mike Control tries to fog him. Oh well, bottom lane. A lot more damage onto Yang. Yeah, a little bit more difficult when DDC gets the nether ward at level two. <laughs> Betting twice about fighting. Yeah. Interesting choice, I think. Silas going again for the kill. Fissure's not available, they'll go into the trees. What round two? Starts to spin, the fissure will be available. Mind control will go straight over the top of it. Sila can't reach him. The die creep wave's gonna keep giving him the extra information. Not this again. It is exactly this again. The die creep wave's still there. Equity. Doesn't even have the defusal up and running. Fissure actually takes out a lot of metumblement and they're gonna go in for the Omni Slash. Tam, that bug, he stays alive for so long. The end of the Wukong is not actually reaching Matumba. He can live on the sidelines and now run another rod of Atos, slowing him down, but they can't find the kills team liquid. Oh. Everyone's low, but GH! The three man's done right in the middle of everything. Sila has to spin himself out. DDC draining out the life of GH, but even he will survive. They give him an earn charge and then a counter earn charge. That's still gonna be a live no matter what. But it's not so great for Matumbaman. A lot of money going into DDC of all players. 725 for that kill. Man, that looked so good with the stun, but they still managed to sustain through it. Obviously, Pugna healing, healing himself. The Necrophos getting a couple of extra heals out, and that was on the that was on the sword edge. That edge that that could have definitely been a totally different story, but Liquid just lacking a little bit in the power. Anyone bring a sentry? GH. Anyone bring a sentry? Mind Control wants to go for the kill. The slap down's there and freeze, ready to bound in, and he goes after GH by Carapace. During the fidget controls him as Kuro swaps up, they just instantly into the Omni Slash. Miracle came into it too, and then the stun. GH, how's he always in the best positions? But Tumba joins the fight to freeze, able to get the lockdown as he fights inside of his Wukong, Wukong's command. Very rare, you actually have to, a Monkey King just to be able to stand its ground. But then the Tumbleman, he finally will be brought down. They burn through the Aegis, but all five heroes ready to fight once more. Perfect stun timing from Fade. Matumba will try and walk it off, but that does not happen. Liquid. All the fire of the Broodmother. They got so well, much information. The Observer and Sentry is on the hill back where they fought last time. So it's just a jump in, kill off the Juggernaut. Does he buy back into this fight? Fate could not push himself far enough up the hill, and they're taken on board. It is Matumba. Actually, it's Mind Control. It's Koro. Everyone's there. Triple kill for Miracle. He doesn't even have to walk anymore. He just rides on the back and throws daggers at people. An ultra kill for Miracle. And that is most definitely the game. Team Liquid. Not entertaining for anybody, but uh, Liquid put on the show. They take it out 2-0. They take number one in the group stage. And we'll come back in just a bit as well. We're playing, uh, I think, actually the tops from uh, from Group B A. versus VJJ Storm. Yeah, so uh, that's coming up in just a bit. High-quality Dota. High-quality. <laughs> Yes! Okay. Thank you. I'm good. Thank that you. is Thank you. Thank you. a very Thank different you. approach. Well, Thank VGJ you. Storm are in first place, so they can do some stuff that I don't think we've seen this much from them. There's been teams that have been uh, banning Enigma first phase, <laughs> including VP, actually. They did do it earlier uh -huh. against VG, uh, just VG Gaming in game number two. They first phase banned Enigma. So mm -hmm. VGJ Storm will be grabbing this hero, uh, limiting Ursa's farm. The Nice, so pretty even. Malifus is out, Penitence is there too. MSS is holding on to his uh, abilities for the moment, throws out the Avalanche, wants to keep Ramses away from snaking, but this Wild Wing block from Roger is just so damn good! Pasha? Does he commit the Doom? It's the real resolution. Yeah! He commits the doom. <gasps> he had no doppelganger oh, away, but now the Duke. God, he's actually. Has he got enough life, up. though? Oh, no, he doesn't. Pasha turns around for the Duke. And... 
Frustration Rune Ramsey's just bounces over the top of him. He'll get frostbitten up. There's no Nova available just yet. And no Scythe of Ice available. No Scythe. Uh, Reaper Scythe available either. He still has Aegis. He does. He actually still has Aegis How after does that he? mess. He was sent back before. Now he's going to finally oh, time was, out. Yeah, that was a... I think that was the first big mistake of VP in this game that actually cost them a lot. They lost about 3,000 gold in that exchange. And the problem is the way they com combine into this mid fight, they're just... Find snaking has clipped into the corner really nicely with the way. Oh my terror. god! He no solos there, but resolution just control and delete. Come on, snaking, that's your moment. Okay, no, he. This pro are not going to force the issue too hard. The melee racks are still up, so instead it's up to VG J Storm. Smoke up, run forward. They want to target. This but move has to work. Yeah, who do they find? This move has to work. If this if this fight fails, they lose Doom, Roche too. It's Doom's coming in. Avalanche. Oh, no, 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 no. MSS, he misses the big hit. The Midnight Pulse is down. Thor's trying to walk back through it. The Scythe is there. It looks for the kill, but no. Vengeful Spirit, you had the hand of God. He survives through the damn thing anyway. Chen did die, but the cost is huge. The Black Hole is better. It's buying time for resolution to fight and create more resolutions. Buybacks are coming in thick and fast, but Ramsey's, damn, that man's so, so thick. So, so thick. Coming for another fight over towards Yawa. Can not get the attack, however. Ghost Trap protects him, but Pasha, he arrives with a Doombringer. There goes a Necro. He's totally deleted. In fact, he walks away from explosions. Necro will die in front of the pit. Resolution could doppelganger himself away to safety and set a couple more illusions of himself in snaking. Three to fight. Puts down the midnight pulse. That really hurts Pasha. Yep, oh, Solo swap. swaps out, MSS gets in, tosses the Doom, doesn't get him away up, and there's your Black Hole, catching out the two, and he got the Vengeful Spirit as well, that's the one they needed, Pasha with the BKB, runs around, refresher off, we go for a second round, Usher is trapped, Resolution's got the time, Ramsey's scythe down, he will fall, is there a chase, MSS, you bet your Nelly is looking for it, Roger, send him back, you'll have to be the sacrifice, they toss Resolution forward even further, Roger will fall down, they don't find any more, however, and have to come back, Tier 4 towns are under attack, but that's it's a real deep swap, but it's perfect. Necrofoss is deleted. Solo will die for the cause. No, he won't. Decrepify saved his life and the hand of God too. This is the game. Virtus Pro, they will take game one and ensure themselves an upper bracket position. It's a gyrocopter. Okay, it's, a, it's an eyeless gyrocopter. No one would predict this. Indeed, he's playing it. <laughs> okay, that was unintentional. Purpose. He just profits, stunned up. No one finishes the job with the homing missile. Continues his run because he wants more. And here comes the terror. Rise. Ah. Well, what do you know? He's... So, apparently, snaking lagged, but he's already dead. <laughs> Not sure who lagged. Yeah, it okay. could have been, been somebody else. Oh, watch the terror. <laughs> Solo. Remember, we are still during nighttime, 30 seconds until the daytime, and Ark Warden, he's got the homing missile on his tail. They'll put down the Bramble, and he just puts the clone, and that's with the scythe. It's actually just trying to, what? Delay a little bit longer, and Solo does get dropped. That happens. Oh, great terrorized. terrorized. Just fence, sends everyone away. Snaking turns around, looking for the fight. Cleans out the tree line, so they see Roger. And Roger has to go into the Shadow Realm. Try and get out of here. Won't happen. Doesn't have a TP scroll. And they're tipping him while he's actually dying. What, Thanks, Pasha. What a godlike terrorized that was. And they're on the dust. hunt. Plenty of dust on VP. If four of them. Uh, it's even better when Weaver gets this. Bugs onto Undying, SVG just has no way to survive. Quick Sentry Ward revealing Nyx Assassin. Spike Carapa saves a lot of the damage, but when the Scythe comes down, Oracle goes with it. A fantastic terrorize from Roger, forcing back VGJ Storm once again, allowing no one to pop this BKB and get heavy damage with a flat cannon. But the rest of VGJ Storm, quick TP out, will not be enough. Pasha comes in for the lift toss, and then it's MSS who's in a world. 
Reapers looking for the follow-up stun. They do break the Lincoln Sphere. Ramsey's protected by the False Promise. We can time us back out again, and no one turns on the BKB. The side, it's not enough to kill off the Oracle. It's Ramsey's. It's Ramsey's, and it's Ramsey's. VGJ Storm in full retreat, and they are absolutely at level five so it does free up the mid lane a bit but a killer like storm spirit is tough for a support to just be able to solo and get experience out of they are going to be able to get the magic oh, 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 oh. that okay. is a minus armor wombo combo that was what minus seven plus what is wave of terror at minus four right now is minus 11 armor that storm just i didn't even see him he just died explodes like an over ripened blueberry my guy just got milk well, the Brace is going to be able to buy him a little bit of time until he pops from the spawn spider lanes. Kaka's going to get him to the high ground. Careful, Winter's Curse, turn around. Maybe the babies, they're going to eat the mother. SCC, he'll finish him off. We'll be able to get that kill. The Fiend's grip on the side. Pernomicon, maybe stuff is the way to beat stuff Newbie. Stuff is how you win. Stuff is how you beat Newbie. Well, Newbie had a lot of, a lot of stuff when they beat Secret. They had like a visage enigma. Ah. They just, you just need to throw things at people. Maybe that's what these TI winning captains all have in common yeah possibly they all listen to kyle <laughs> they all listen to kyle <laughs> maybe maybe kyle okay <laughs> there's a possibility that kyle's just a genius uh -huh. and he just can't i think quasworks and Vogler looks really good here the way that they play it and the way they're just moving around the map constantly helps address the split push really well but you I got was it right. you got it oh, i got it i wish you guys could see my face right now because i'm so right <sighs> i told you it's a Meepo game. I called it from pick. Th I called it from pick three. On He's gonna be able to get away with the four staff. Mookie coming in from the side. They do manage to get the Meepo win. Instantly blows up Kaka. He buys back. He needs to get the supernova SCC's into this fight. Drop SCC's too. stuck in the freezer field. They need Who to get up, but they can't bail him. Fada still hasn't died, and Newbie will pop the BKB on Mookie. They all got to escape now. Even the supernova may not be enough to be able to save. Ace is gonna kill it. The supernova's gone. Ace Mookie's dead. It was swiping over newbie. Everyone's just dying. The magnetic double. They do manage to get the Reaper Scythe out. They takes out one of the meatballs, but the rest of them survive. They actually keep on going even as one of them dies. And that means a lane of Rax newbie may just be done. They don't I think have buybacks. They don't have buybacks on two of their heroes. Secret what? in one fell swoop. Newbie's gone. They're going to jump forward, be able to grab face, slow him down. Raid fire blast as well. Oh, he's he swapped in Moogie. Moogie. Don't swap in Moogie. Eat the cheese, Moogie. That's it. It's good game. Okay, I newbie. really feel like Newbie should have just taken that chance for that top lane. Oh, my God. Because it's... TI starts on Monday. We'll see you there.